So let's study the differences between axon and dendrites. So the first point under axon is so there is one axon per neuron and for dendrites usually many dendrites are present per neuron. So let's move on to the second point. So axon arises from the discharging end of the nerve while dendrites arise from the receiving surface of the nerve. So the third point under axon is so axon is comparatively long, sometimes several meters, while dendrites are comparatively shorter, usually under 1.5 millimeters. Now let's move on to the next point. So the thickness of axon is uniform throughout the length, and for dendrites, dendrites are highly branched throughout their length. So the fifth point under axon is that axon branches at the distal ending only and for dendrite so as i mentioned in the previous point dendrites are highly branched throughout their length so the terminal branches of the axon forms an enlarged synaptic knot while no synaptic knots are formed on the tip of the dendrites let's move on to the next point so axon contains neurofibrils all over but they lack nissels granules but for dendrites so dendrites contain both neurofibrils and nissels granules. Both neurofibrils and nissels granules are present in dendrites. Let's move on to the next point. So axon conducts neuronal impulse away from the soma that is the cell body and for dendrites, dendrites conduct neuronal impulses towards the soma. So these were the differences between axon and dendrites. Let's look at a diagram. So in this picture you can clearly see that dendrites are responsible for receiving the message from other cells. This is the dendrites portion, these are the dendrites, these are the dendrites and for axon they passes messages away from the cell body to other neurons, muscles or glands. So this inner portion is the axon. This is covered by the myelin sheath. These are the axon is covered by the myelin sheath in order to help speed up the neural impulse. Thank <laughs> you.